Okay, here we are with uh, Coach Kevin Rooney of Notre Dame. Uh, Coach Rooney was one of the first teams that raised their hands and said, hey, you know what, Coach, we want to be in this event this year. We love the idea of the Honor Bowl, uh, what you guys are doing for our military servicemen and women and the fundraising uh, cause behind it, and we really want to bring our team into this. And, uh, uh, Kevin, I want to thank you for your heart and for, for uh, you know, raising your hand. Thank you so much. Well, my pleasure. We're very happy to be involved in this event. Now, your team in the last uh, 18 years has been to, uh, let me make sure I got the stats right, 14 years of league championships in the last 18, seven CIF championship games, and four wins in the CIF. I mean, buddy, what a record. You must be so proud. I am. We've had a lot of great kids here, and we've had our coaching staff has been together for many, many years, and, uh, and we have a great school, and I think our kids uh, have a great experience here. Now, the campus is beautiful. It's just fun to come down here and see this beautiful campus. Tell us a little bit about the school. Tell us a little about, bit about your, your team this year. Uh, the school is a Holy Cross uh, school, um, so it's connected to the University of Notre Dame as such. And um, Catholic school, about, about 1,200 students. Uh, we have a, a really good academic and athletic tradition. Um, our team this year uh, should be a very competitive team. We have uh, some really good kids coming back. Of course, like everybody does, we've lost some, some really good kids graduation. But uh, um, uh, Daniel Kahn is a wide receiver who's going to be an outstanding player. Chris Colorossi is a running back. Uh, Grant K Kramer uh, and Koa Farmer, um, who is a returning all-league player, uh, will be competing at quarterback. Um, Dion Dayao is a defensive lineman or offensive lineman. He's an outstanding player for us. So we've got we've got quite a few guys back that I think that'll that'll do really good things. When you talk about these young men that are playing for you, any of them have offers, D ones, any colleges looking at them in a big way? Uh, Co Farmer's been offered by quite a few schools, um, Cal, Washington, Vanderbilt, uh, and a few others. And uh, he plays uh, safety for us and and wide receiver the last two years and we're going to try him at quarterback a little bit this year. Well, on their website talks about honor. Um, you know, explain a little bit about how you feel about being in this vet as a whole. Well, uh, I have a great deal of respect for our military and for what sacrifices those young men and women make for our country and for our freedom. And I, I think it's really important that our kids uh, are able to witness firsthand, you know, and be able to listen to some of the, those people speak and uh, both my parents were, were in the Navy in, in World War II and, uh, um, you know, in association with the U.S. Army uh, Bowl each year. I've been to the uh, Center for the Intrepid in San Antonio and was, I know that that facility, which is an incredible facility that helps uh, people recover from injuries and so on, was all privately funded, yes. not, not, not by the government. Right. So I know that there is a, a tremendous need for um fundraising for our veterans and and uh, I think just just the awareness that the event brings is fantastic we play a game uh, you know that's played for fun you know but we there's a lot of uh, similarities to the military in terms of the way you prepare and all those kinds of things but obviously our 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 deal is a game but it and and I think it it helps kids to get a little bit of perspective on on what the military guys are going through and obviously what what they're doing is a lot different than what we're doing, but but uh, there are some similarities. Um, you know, one of the things I was most impressed with with the veterans that we heard speak at the Center for the Intrepid was just, you know, most of them what they wanted most was to get back with their buddies, you know, irregardless of their right. injuries, right. and and uh, you know they felt like they're letting their teammates down by not being with them anymore, and uh, you know that's a real impressive message to people you know yes, that yes. that uh, how how they're uh, how dedicated they are and so on so. playing against del oro yeah opening the the day on saturday uh big game uh, how do you feel about that game uh, uh how's the team you know preparing for that game give us a little insight on that well you know we're we're quite a ways away from that but and we we've got a game before that game so yeah. we gotta focus on that first but I know Delaro has an outstanding program I'm from the Sacramento area originally and uh, um, 
it's going to be a great game. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And we're, you know, we've exchanged films and we've been looking at their films and I'm sure they've been looking at ours. And uh, we don't know a lot about each other, obviously, because we've never played. But uh, I know that they have an outstanding program and it should be a great game. Well, God bless you, buddy. I just appreciate your heart. I mean, you're a great man, and it's been it's been fun to get to know you. Uh, we're very excited about this year's event, and uh, thank you so much for bringing your team out and being a part of it. Uh, it should be a great weekend at Oceanside. It sure will be. We're looking forward to it. Thank you, sir.